Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm super excited for this video. This one is all about my girl, Sonia G and her brand new tradition series, Kiyaki Katishibu Face Trio. So I have all three brushes that have been beautifully um, and generously gifted to me. We're gonna be trying each one out, um, maybe a couple of ways, as many ways as we can, as I build my face up with different makeup products, okay? We're gonna be hearing about what Sonia says about the brushes and then I'll be telling you about my experience with them. And we're just gonna have a good time. So if you wanna see, how this face came together with these beautiful brushes and what this super cute thing is on my head. Just keep watching and please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. I appreciate it when you do. Now let's jump in. Okay guys, before I jump in, of course I have to talk about my Breezy Tea products of the day. I am rocking our Khaki Moss Boho Head Wrap. I'm obsessed with this color. This is another fairly new color for us. I think this is going to be a hit in the fall, as we move into the colder months and the colors that we wear, we move into earth tones, maybe some deeper colors, some fall winter colors. I'm obsessed with this one. I'm, I, I, it's such a pretty interesting green, greeny brown color. So long piece of stretchy, stretchy fabric, okay? Fashion them into any style you want. You can dress them up, dress them down, work out, hang out, whatever you've got going on. It's just the coolest hair accessory. And they come in so many colors. We have customers who really have in the double digits now. I know the names now. I see them so often and I really appreciate them. Whenever we have new colors coming out, they want to get them. So we have re we have a lot of repeat customers, but it always gives me a, 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 a giggle when I see that when it's new colors, they're like, we want all these, these head wraps. We want all these head wraps. So there's something there for everyone, okay? And if you wanna check out any of our boho head wraps or our boho headband, same stretchy material, but in a head wide band, you can visit us at breezytea.com or our Etsy shop. Links will always, always, always be in the description and somewhere up here. Okay, so this is today's all about Sonia G, okay? I'm gonna put it out there off the bat. These brushes have been gifted. I am just so incredibly grateful. Here's the uh, Kiyaki Kakishibu, three face brushes that we're gonna get into today. Beautiful surprise, a beautiful gift. Listen, I've gotten some brushes from Sonia G now. I brought them all to you here on my channel. I don't know how PR works. Um, and so, I, meaning I don't know if there's an end date, when there's an end date, that's not something I know. So I am genuinely surprised when a package shows up for me um, from Beautylish and, and it's close to a Sonia G release. I'm like, oh wow, so this was genuine, genuine um, surprise and I'm still quite grateful for each, each time that I get something, incredibly grateful, but this was such a nice surprise, especially because this one came out and I was like, ooh, uh, this is looking, this is, but you know, budgeting and stuff. You can't just go crazy with everything, guys. So I was like, ooh, okay, these are gonna be around for a while, so I'll get them at some point. And um, so this is a really nice surprise. So I just wanted to put that out there. These were gifted and um, with no pressure to do videos. But listen, y'all know I love my girl. Love me some Sonya G, so um, uh, happy always to do a video with her products. And yes, so let's look at these one at a time. We have TF1. This big fluffy number. Can you ever have enough of these fluffy brushes? I say no. We've got TF2. Oh, how beautiful is the, the Kakishibu treatment? So pretty. And then we have TF3. Now this is the one that drew me in. Look at that point. Look at that point. This is, this is the one that I was like, okay. You're the one, TF3. So the plan today is just to build this face up and I'm gonna be reading some of what Sonia says. I will say it in every video that no one is gonna do Sonia G's brushes more justice than she does. She give, she she writes the most thorough, beautiful blogs on her brushes. I will link the blog in my description. Like she's gonna, whatever you wanna know about it, you should not have any questions after you read a Sonia G blog. So I'm gonna be referring to that blog to talk about these three brushes, see what she's saying about them. And the goal is to use them in as many ways as I can. If I think there's a use for them, I'm gonna wipe it off and we'll try it with something new. So we're just gonna build my face up with different products, some recent, maybe a new one, we'll see. Um, I am up to my under eye powder that I really don't need. I'm still trying out the Westman Atelier um, concealers 
And so I have it on now and I really don't need powder. That's one of the things that you don't need to use powder. And, um, but I'm going to, we're going to get into that. So we're going to start right now with my under eye powder. Let's go. So we're going to start with TF3. So traditions phase three and on the, the handle, it does say TF3. So you've got the Japanese writing here. Um, and then on the other side, it does say each brush says, brush says, Sonia G here. We'll get into the handles and we'll get into the Kakishibu treatment. So T3 is the one with the tapered um, uh, bristles. And this one, this is still, these are still available at Beautylish right now. So you, they're sold as the trio and the trio is $272 or they're sold as individuals. TF3 is 67 US dollars, okay? So I'm just gonna give you that information now. And yeah, this is so soft. It's so soft. Now these have been washed. Um, when I put up pictures, um, you'll see the pre-washed pictures and then the pictures now. So nice and fluffy washed. And let's get into, I'm going to use my Kosas um, Cushiony Cloud Set Powder. My favorite, favorite, favorite powder. Guys, this just broke, okay? It, it, does, not, it does not stay on together, but right after it broke, right? So I'm just brushing this here because I think this is going to be perfect. This, this tapered, uh, these tapered bristles will be perfect underneath the eye. Just after it broke, Kosas came out and said they have new ones coming out. When I tell you I love this brush, like you, I'm not even 95% of the time, this is the, 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 the powder that I'm using. Okay. This fits so beautifully under the eye, just what I was hoping. Okay, and I told you guys I'm wearing my Westman Atelier concealer. So we're just gonna powder under there. Oh, it's so soft. And that tapering is getting right where I want it to. Because I don't like to wear a lot of paper. Really, really soft, really, 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 really gentle as well. And I am, age is important here. I'm knocking on 47. And um, I don't have time for anything to tug at my skin, to work my skin. Age is doing its own thing. So I want to be as gentle as possible on my skin as I can. Um, here too for any, you know, where the might perspire. All right. But this is about as much as I do for powder. Typically just under my eyes. I don't like a lot of powder if I can help it. So we're good to go. This is the first way we're using this. This is perfect. This is so soft. I'm getting close to my lash line perfectly. Just a beautiful, be and the size is really beautiful as well. Now, the only one of Sonia's um, brushes that I would compare this to is my true love, my love, the Inoshige Pro um, brush, because that too is tapered, okay? So this is the only one of Sonia's that I think is the closest. They're both uh, tapered and funnily enough, this is what I love underneath my eyes, but this is much bigger. This is more targeted and kind of sits even more easily into like the area here, but this is another love. So this is the comparison of Sonia's that I have and the, um, the length are the same. Okay. So the, the handles are the same length. Let's say just a little bit about what Sonia's saying about it, about this brush. So Traditions Phase 3 is a small candle-shaped brush that allows a targeted application of powders, blush, or highlighter, okay? It's used with setting powders and for precision work with some airiness for more ease in the movement and more versatility with the products, whether it's blush, blush toppers, contour, or highlighter. I want to go back in with this brush in a little bit as my highlighting brush. Okay, so we're not done with this one. We're gonna see this one again, but for now, this butte is going to be put down and we're gonna move over to TF1 because it's time for some bronzing. Yeah. So next up, like I said, we're gonna go to TF1, this butte right here. Let's see what she's saying about these bristles. The bristles that we use for these three brushes are Psycoho Goat Grade, uh, that are dyed using persimmon fruit dye. That persimmon fruit dye is what makes the um, kakishibu uh, process. That's what the process is. It's dyeing the bristles in the fruit, the persimmon, which I love. And it's not just with fruit. I mean, it's not just with fruit. It's not just with brushes. I've seen this same process done on fabrics and other things. So it's just a beautiful, 
beautiful. I think that's one of the reasons that many of us love Japanese culture, um, uh, the traditions and the things that they've been doing for so long that they're still doing now. And this is just one of them. Absolutely, absolutely love that they're using fruit to dye. Just look how beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. And these are the brushes. So this was the, she started this um, Kakishibu collection, Kiyaki Kakishibu collection with the eye brushes and this will join these three. So just beautiful, it's such a beautiful finish and it stands out and it'll definitely stand out in your collection. Now here's an interesting point because even when I see these brushes when they first come out, I'm always like, can I just use these with powder? What's what's going on? But something, she said, something you may not know is that Kakishibu dye is safe to use with any product formula, powders and cream, as long as the length and density of the brush is effective for the use of the product. They can technically be paired with any type of formula. So if that's one of the questions you had, like me, that's your answer. Even still, even when I get the go ahead, I might not use everything with creams. I'm gonna keep this one to powder today and let's get into this bronzer now. So I'm gonna use my Lancome bronzer here. Perfect time to remind you that everything that I am using on my face today, things that are featured, so the brushes, um, and things that are not um, will always be in my description below. There will be some affiliate links. So if you're gonna buy something anyway and you wanna support me, you wanna support my channel, I would a thousand percent appreciate it if you use one of my links, okay? Another way to support my channel, I don't wanna do too much. Here we go, that already looks like too much. Um, another way to support my channel is to let those ads run when they pop up during a video. That is really, really helpful and appreciated. So that's just a little something. Anything that I have going on my face, you don't have to wait to ask me. It is listed in the description. I'm afraid to put too much. Let me spread it out between the, the two. This Lancome um, bronzer is potent. I don't even know. I have to check to see if it's even out in the US yet. This came out so, okay, so a, a really easy tap. This brush put, picks up a lot of product a lot a lot of product and so you can just go in slowly and not feel you know just tap it's funny before Sonya G brushes it's been years now but I didn't you know fully appreciate how much brushes make a difference to my application first of all in terms of time absolutely when you've got good brushes to me the time is just cuts down because it gets me in and out and I'm not someone one who likes to use a lot of time spend a lot of time doing makeup so in and out i love it but so i've always looked at brushes as investments and then at some point i started to collect brushes and then i have some brushes that i like lock away in the tower this is a sonia christmas special brush i believe from a couple of years ago and um yeah i don't use this that often it's here when i want to use her but i i don't always use her she's pretty and i look at them as pieces of art and that's just me, and so I don't wanna do too much. When I tell you this is so crazy soft, oh my goodness, this is so gentle and pleasant on the skin. This is where I waste time on good brushes. I just keep going because they just feel so good. I'm done, but oh, easy guys. Picked up a decent amount of product, distributed evenly and easily, and I'm done with bronzer. Let's see what she's saying about T1. T1 is a very big powder brush with a pinched arched uh, ferrule here. So here's the pinched and arched ferrule here. Okay, that allows the long fluffy bristles to flow with the steady movement and work with constant strength across its surface. It was designed for the application of powders or bronzers when we prefer to use more fluffy and airy brushes when we aim for a more natural, lightweight application. Name of my makeup game. Natural, easy. If it's not natural, I don't really want it. You know what I mean? And if I want it, it's very rarely. Most of the time I want it natural, easy. And so the nice, fluffy, airy brush will get me there. Everything is kind of just brushed on in the most natural way. You can turn it on its head as well if you want to, to, to get more surface area. But I think it's fluffy enough. I'm getting enough just like this, okay? Just like this. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful brush. I'm thinking of maybe using this at the end with some Guerlain Meteori. 
We'll see how it goes, um, how else I would use this as a finishing brush. So for now, the beautiful T1, we'll put down for a sec. And um, what do we gotta do next? Since I have to build my face up, I'm gonna zoom through this next part. I'm gonna use, I'm gonna do my eyes super duper simple. One color and a, um, a, 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 a liner, that's it, that's it. Super duper simple. So yeah. Let's get to that. So I'm going, this has been sitting, I've had this for a minute and I still haven't tried it out. This is the Armani Eye Tint in 20M. Here it is. Do you like these Armani Eye Tints? And my discounter, this was so cheap. This was so cheap. simple eye look super duper duper simple let me know if you have these armani eye tints and what you think this one is a matte um they have different finishes but i'm just curious if you have any let me know what you think so we're gonna move on to t2 this brush here but first let's talk about these handles we've got to see what they're saying about these beautiful handles let's take a look at these handles cannot stand it oh my goodness the wood is just so fantastic and beautiful. I, I'm a sucker for a wooden handle. Whenever I see it, my eyes go to, I think it just ups the beauty factor by a hundred when it has a wooden. And then the dark wood, oh, can't stand it. So the wood is um, Kiyaki Zelkova Serata. That's the name of it, which is native to Japan. And it requires a longer drying period of one to two years compared to other Japanese woods. Um, so it requires a lot of work, expensive blades and tools. It's known to be very expensive wood and it's constantly increasing in price. That's one of the things about Fude um, uh, that, um, um, that's unfortunate for people who love to collect like I do. Uh, materials have gone up so much that the brushes have been forced to go up to so that's just, you know, watching it over the years just steadily increase has been a shame, but I, it's a necessary step that they have to make to continue to be in business, right? So it's nothing they can do about that. When they want to make natural bristle uh, brushes, a lot of the companies are now moving to like sim synthetic natural um, mixes. You'll see more of that to kind of keep the traditions and keep all those things going, but maybe not with the expensive bristles that they're used to. So it's interesting on the technological side to see where they're going to take these brushes as they start to mix and play around. But that is one of the unfortunate parts of uh, life right now. We're watching a lot of things go up in price. So uh, brushes are not, materials for brushes are not exempt from that, okay? The curvy handles, which I love. I think they look like bowling pins. Every time I see them, I think they, they remind me of bowling pins. And so it turns out that these curvy handles are the most difficult ones to manufacture. Again, I'm gonna cut that short because Sonia Hads goes into serious detail. So if you're a brush nerd like I am and you wanna hear the, read about the 
the full process, her, her blog is where it's going to be. And again, I will link it below. But now let's get to some blush with this beauty. Guys, I completely forgot the comparison ones on the T1 and I forgot. So this is T1, right? And then it immediately reminded me of this brush here. This is Sonia's Niji Pro, okay? So we have the Niji Pro, we have the T1. Wait, did it remind me of Niji or Jumbo? I think it reminded me of this one, I don't remember. I, I told her, I was like, this looks like. This is Jumbo Pro from Sonia. I'm telling you, these big brushes are everything. Yes, and then I have the um, Fan L, okay? Also big, but a different kind of shape, but big fan kind of brush. And then the other one is the one, um, the special editions one from the couple of Christmas, so Christmases ago. Also a fan, like a wide fan brush. Here they are. Let me show you from the side, the three main ones, the three main ones from the side. Okay. Niji's in the middle. This is the new one, T1. And then this is the jumbo brush here. So these are the three main ones. I think they are. I compare them to the, th the three of these. I compare them to each other. And so hopefully that's helpful for you to see these um, together. I will take pictures and perfect time to remind you that a few days after a video goes live here on YouTube, I will have product pictures. Usually I have swatches, so it's going to get interesting because I have to find another post, the third post for these. There'll be no swatches but there'll be pictures of the new brushes and then I'll do pictures, comparison um, pictures as well, okay? So come visit me on Instagram and we're talking beauty over there. Okay, so it's time for some color and I'm going to use um, Hourglass's Ambient uh, Snake, I was on it, um, for some color, okay? So we're gonna, and I'll break down this brush in just a second, so this is T2. And I don't know what I want to do here, mate. I don't know. I don't want to do too much color. Here we have, so let's get it on. Again, soft. This one is a little more compact than the other two that I've used. So it's more dense uh, upon application. Immediately, I feel the difference. But still incredibly soft, right? Incredibly, incredibly soft. It's just the way that the bristles are bundled. And this is such a pretty color. I don't use this enough and it's really, really pretty. This is the first one of these um, hourglass compacts that I got because, because I have my reasons. I stayed away for many, many years from this product and this brand. And then I decided to wait to see after I saw people complaining and asking and begging for something, I was still waited to see if it was just a fluke. And then I decided to give them a try this past Christmas when these came out, fall, I don't know. So I grabbed one. And I think this will keep me content for a while so I don't envision getting more. So, okay, really doing a nice job. I'm not just picking up, but then I'm, I'm going over a little bit to see, I wanna see how it blends out, if I mess up, if I put too much, how do I pull it back? And because it has a nice density, it's doing a nice job of like pulling back the color when it's too much, right? And these are glowy. Now I can, I like doing it like this. Sometimes I'll swirl. Do I my swirler with my blushes? Eh, I'm a sweeper. I think I do more sweeping than, um, than swirling on. Although swirling to blend out is nice, if, especially when it's too much. Girl, I like to blend out, it's, it's nice. But oftentimes I think I sweep up. Okay, put a little here and we're good for blush. Very, very nice. Uh, listen, I would have to, let me see what I can pull from Sonia's collection that reminds me of this one. This is one of those classic shapes that um, everyone needs in their collection um, that just does the, the, the work on the cheeks really, really beautifully. Let's see what she has to say about T2. So this beaut, the Traditions Phase 2 TF2 is a round medium sized face brush with medium density. It was designed for the application of blush, bronzer, soft contour, gentle buffing to work with loose or pressed powders. It can be used with very gentle pressure or with more determination 
for more power and buffing abilities. As you just saw, I was using it with Determined. I put, I put it on easily, but then to really buff it out, especially the place where I went, well, that's too much. Like right here, that's too much. I had to put on a little, I used a little bit more power and the brush is able to do both. We love a multifunctional brush. So this is T2, the Butte. I don't know if we'll see her again. I'm not sure if we're gonna see her again for this video because I'm about to turn back to T3 for the highlighter, let's go. So we're gonna stick with the Ambient Palette and go here. And I really don't know what it's gonna do, so I can always go back in for more. So I'm just gonna put a little bit right now. I can see it straight away with this Airy Butte. And I love, again, this tapered situation is beautiful. So it, it points, I can put it just where I want it to and then just easily blend this out. Really, really pretty. This is such a pretty palette as well. Look at that beautiful, not too gold, but like just a really beautiful glow. Let's get the other side. It's doing a really nice job of placing where I want to, but then taking it off the tapered point more to the middle. I can now spread it where I want to gently and it blends in seamlessly like a dream. I was gonna use another one for the nose, but because of the tapering, this should be able to handle where I put highlighter, which is only right here and it does. So you can see it there. So just right here is where I ever put highlighter. So when the light hits it, um, it'll hit right here. Oh, really nice brush. Really, really nice brush. So I play a little game with these videos. Um, when I don't have a lipstick to show off, um, I always, I open up my lipstick draw and I'm like first one. So I was like Prada, let's just see. First one I pick out and this is the color I landed on. <laughs> Okay, first one. I didn't know. I was like, whatever. Let's see what it comes up with. Whatever it is, I'm going to put it on. So I'm going to use the Getlan. This is the latest ones I have. These are the Meteori Warm. Um, Dory is the other name, but Warm 03 Warm. And we're just going to swirl the big brush in here. I'm going to put this all over my face, okay? Just to finish everything off. And it should do the trick. Speaking of Guerlain, they just, the Pucci Guerlain collab just came out. And I just got like 40% off because our discounters rock. No, I always say discounters. A lot of them are just, per they're perfumeries here in Europe where you can find, um, they are discounters, but they're, they're um, in essence, they're perfumeries where they have discounted makeup. But... You'd think it would be discounted um, old stuff. No, I'm getting stuff before they even come out to, um, I just got some Chanel that's not even out on Chanel here yet. So I'll bring that video to you soon. Um, but yeah, so I got it for cheap because the Pucci Guerlain um, collaboration Beautiful and collector's items, but they're really expensive. So even when I when I first saw it, even the couple of things that I wanted, I was like, I'm not paying this price. So let me see if I can find them. And just waiting like a couple of weeks. And now they're, they were out and I got like 40% off. And so I'll bring that to you soon. So this is working actually beautiful. This is working much better than I thought. I usually use a rounder, fluffier brush. But I don't usually use this shape to do this because that's when I swirl typically with my other kind of brush. But this is so soft and so lovely that it's doing whatever I want it to. And it's still distributing the, the Meteori Beautiful while tying everything together really, really seamlessly. So this worked beautifully, okay. I didn't expect to really like it. Like I said, with these, with these, if it, if it were a, um, a, a powder, perhaps with the pearls and the way I like to wear my finishing. Okay. I really, really like how that came together. All right. Let's wrap up this vid. They have these beautiful job. So this is the finished face with the fabulous, um, 
Sonia G brushes. Where's my trio? Where's my trio? They did such a beautiful, beautiful job. Again, it, it took me a while to really appreciate how much um, great brushes help makeup application. And as someone who always wants a really, really natural, easy look, I do blend a lot. I blend a lot on camera, but even when I'm doing I like to blend. I want to make sure it looks as natural and not too far departure from me, my skin, who I am. I don't want it to look like it's sitting on top. And brushes just really do such a beautiful job. Sonia G's brushes, they have not failed me yet. I use them more than anything. These are my workhorses. They get me in and out all the time. And I can't say enough about these trios. I will always suggest if you don't have these big, a big fluffy brush like this, I can't say enough about them. You saw them on me. And particularly this one, I love how airy it is because it will give me a more natural finish and it blends like a dream. And talking about time, it's so big that it covers more surface space so I don't have to spend as much time. I know it's gonna get me, you know, cover large areas of my face really, really quickly. And the sleeper surprise was how well it did with the Meteori. That worked out really, really well. This is just a beautiful brush. Again, this is like one of those classic Sonia G, you know, beautiful um, cheek brushes. I really love the size. It gets you right, especially my cheeks are big. So right here, the apple of the cheek really nicely. I'm always a fan of these beautiful, beautiful job. And my my love, uh, T, TF3, um, the tapering, beautiful, how it fit under the eye how it then went on to do a really beautiful job here with the highlighter. This is my shape. I love a candlestick shape. Love, 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 love. So really beautiful job. I can't say enough about this trio. If you've not tried Sonia G brushes yet and you love makeup, come on. And you love luxury makeup, come on. You have to have some Sonia G in your collection. So I think this is a beautiful place to start for three brushes that you will use in different ways. You'll find different uses out of them and they're just damn beautiful to look at. So if you want something a little special in your collection, you can start here. Again, these are sold uh, separately. Oh, I forgot to tell you the other prices. These are sold separately and as a trio. Okay, so T TF3 is again, this one is 67. Uh, TF2 is 75. And then the big fluffy one, TF1, is 130 USD, okay? And again, the, the set, the full set is 272 USD. So really, really an investment, but one that you will have for a really long time. If you take care of your brushes, your brushes should treat you right for many, 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 many years, okay? So I think they're worthy investments. Um, and yeah. This is it. I, I just can't say enough. I think it did a beautiful job. I like the finished look and how everything is blended. And that is it. It is over to you guys. Let me know if you got any of the three brushes. Did you get the set? Let me know if this is something that interests you. Do you love, 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 love this Kakishibu um, process, the, the persimmons, dyeing it? And do we love these wooden handles? Let me know what your favorite Sonia G brush is. Do you have lots? Let me know all things Sonia G. But that I want to know. What's your favorite Sonia G um, brush that you own? And did you get any of these brushes this go round? Let me know. And please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. I really do appreciate it when you do. And if you want to check out any of our boho head wraps, any of our t-shirt hair towel wraps, satin line beanies, satin line knit beanies, and all our other hair accessories, you can visit us at breezyt.com. For all our luxury lifestyle accessories, you can visit us at fraybybreezyt.com. I will check you guys in the next video. Ciao for now. Bye.